Hello there and welcome back. In this video what I'm going to show you is to how you can utilize the Jenkins CLI. So the Jenkins CLI allows you to manipulate Jenkins via the command line and in order to do so in our case we need to hit the Jenkins slash CLI context group and here we have the Jenkins CLI jar file that needs to be downloaded and after it was downloaded we may want to create a new folder Jenkins CLI and uh, in my case I have allowed myself to be a little bit less secure so to speak so if I go to this folder and try to let's say issue this command by default i would need to authenticate myself which is perfectly fine because you do not want this uh, jenkins to work that way if you want to disable it you go to the manage jenkins configure global security and under the configure global security you say that anyone can do anything this is not safe but uh, in my case this is the easiest way to use Jenkins without too much of a hassle so what I can do is to issue this Jenkins command and after that I can create my own jobs, builds, cancel them, retrieve, console output and so on so basically this is a kind of a neat way to work as fast as possible with Jenkins. So what happens here is that we use the Java, assign the jar file and say that we would like to hit this context root of Jenkins on our local host and issue the command help. Let's see if we can get the version. So, the Jenkins version is 2.150.2. So basically that's it how I have set up my Jenkins installation to allow me to, let's say, issue the Jenkins CLI command so I can create a wrapper scripts that, let's say, trigger a build, create a new job, and so on and so forth. And uh, that was all I wanted to show you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.